what is up beautiful people of the world welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you a house project we are doing i'm going to let you know how much it costs and how we're doing it so keep on watching so if you see behind there we don't have a fence that little pile over there used to be a chain link fence that was on there and it was really hanging down really bad over there you see the neighbor's wood fence and it's all broken but we're gonna go ahead and put a, a wood fence with metal posts there yesterday we set the posts we dug a hole 24 inches deep and we set them co with concrete we did mix the concrete and then pour it into there while we were mixing the concrete and pouring it in we were making sure the poles were level from both side to side and front to back. And today we are going to put on the 2x4s and the brackets and the pickets. So right now I am running to the store to get the rest of the stuff. Well, not super early, but it's 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, I don't want to wake up girlfriend or the baby I was trying to get my younger my older daughter to come with me but she didn't want to come so it's just me Let's see if we could do this I might have to make two trips today but at least if I could get some a majority of the pickets and two by fours then when I come back I'll get the rest of the pickets so it's a little challenging to do any house projects when you have a baby. Our baby's only gonna be a year. And um, I really contemplated hiring someone to do this job because of the baby. Uh, but really didn't have the money. Excuse me. So I've already spent like 200 something dollars on supplies. And I, I think I'm probably about to spend another 400 on supplies right now. The good thing is, because it's so early, I should be in and out of there. There shouldn't be a lot of people over here right now. Only the early birds, so let's pull up. <laughs> okay. Oh man, in and out isn't even open. I guess I'm gonna have to go to McDonald's because I am starving. My girlfriend's gonna wake up and be like, why'd you leave without me? But it's because we need to get this done. Okay, taking up two lanes, okay. See, look at that. Home Depot over there in the corner. Barely. Why is this person really taking up two lanes, though? Jesus. Get a license. I mean, learn how to drive. Right, so we're going to go closer by the lumber because the other day I made the mistake of parking way in the back and I had to push that lumber all the way through the parking lot. And that was tiring. Heavy load. And I'm a little person. So, yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go around. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, we made it. Okay, guys, so this is our progress. So, we're almost done. We are about. A quarter of the way done so it's a total of one two three four five six like panel areas um, over here we're gonna have a hard time with the kicker board because there's some cement so we have this little joint here this little L joint or whatever I don't know how to screw that into the cement so we have to figure that out but in the meantime we're going to put the 2x4 rails that are going to go across. We're going to just 
stick them right on that um, on that four by four. And yeah, I think so far in materials we're at about six hundred dollars. A little more expensive because uh, metal posts those are like twenty bucks a piece, and then those bottom kicker boards were sixteen bucks a piece. For these uh, poles with the holes in the cement, we had some help, but they're two feet deep, and um, we mixed the cement before we poured it in. So hopefully they stand strong in the test of time. It's not perfect, but it will do and give us our privacy. And it's kind of just all we want because before all of it was chain link and we had all these little things from that we ordered from Amazon, little tarp things, and we had them on the back. But this back chain link fence, the poles were so messed up that it was just leaning over. So this is it, show you when it's all done. Started at seven this morning. So I woke up this morning, I think at like seven, and I went over to Home Depot. Oh, and I got the rest of the supplies. Then we had to go back again um, because I needed to get more two by fours for that last sex section where the cement is. And then now we're taking a short break and because we <laughs> because I messed up my math, I thought we only need, we have 90 pickets and I did 90 times two for the number of screws we needed, which was wrong because it should have been 90 times six. So we had to go back to the store. Well, some we sent someone back to the store for some more screws. But after we get those screws, then we're gonna finish out this fence. And then tomorrow, probably do a dump run. And so this was a whole weekend project. But yeah, I'll show you when we're done. I'm exhausted, my body's gonna hurt. But I must say, it was pretty worth it. Saved some money. Plus I like to do these kind of things. So yeah, stay tuned. Oh yes, one other thing I forgot to mention was uh, we had some issues when setting the post so that's also why our thing is not gonna be as lined up as we needed like as leveled and let me show you what I mean all right look at this look at this I don't know if you can see this but this is my kicker board down here see my shoe right there it's my kicker board but that tree stump was in the way and we had to cut a piece of it just to make these poles line up and get it as straight as possible as we could so it was tough, but we did that yesterday. Yesterday we started at about four or five. We're out here to about seven or eight. Only like two to three hours setting posts and um, sawing out this thing. But luckily I had a chainsaw. So it took a little time because it's only a 16 inch chainsaw. Not super powerful, but we were able to at least get through it enough. And right over there, that, that pole, that pole had a lot of roots in there. So it took a little time to dig that too. So one tip, just you know, prepare for possible issues sometimes if you have trees, trees around, or just something that hasn't been done in a long time. You can have these different obstacles that come about. This tree could potentially be a problem in the future, like if it has new growth, but hopefully it's not, so we'll see. Okay guys, so it's Sunday and our fence is done. We're up bright and early on the Sunday morning because that's what time we get up every day, like at seven because of the baby usually. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you some things on the fence shortly. Right now we're in the front yard and then we'll move on over to the backyard and I'll show you the finished product. You think this is so funny? <laughs> Dina's just watching you like, what are you doing? You watering the plants? Sister's watering the plants, huh? All done, all done. Yeah. See that, Dina? Sister, all done. Okay guys, so we're here getting ready to build a fence and I'm gonna show you where we first started with the fence. First, though, so we dug the holes for the posts the post hole digger we had two but I broke one um, yeah so now let me show you how we put attach this wood fence to uh, the metal fence so keep watching okay so over here is where we attach the wood fence to the metal fence and there was this bracket here because there used to be a chain link and there was this brackets here because there used to be a chain link and so we just used those same brackets and I put a hole into the wood see that and it's pretty sturdy it's not going anywhere like I put a lot of pressure on it it's not going anywhere okay and then we go down over here so the fence is all complete now 
see, it looks all nice. There were six sections total. Right over here we went seven feet, seven feet, then eight feet, eight feet, eight feet, and seven. And it was just because of how our backyard is landscaped, it's all uneven, and we just needed to get this fence up by the end of Saturday. We started at 7, finished at about 4.30. We did take a break in between because we had to go get some more supplies for this last panel. Okay, so for this last panel, we kind of didn't have enough cement, so I just got some gravel and put it there. Um, also, we started to go a little high on this last panel. Another thing is we were putting all the pickets flush together, and for some reason it started to tilt like that, and that's why in, on certain ones you see big gaps because uh, we were trying to fix it. Now over here, this post right here was already here so we just added these metal brackets and attached it to this 2x4 to keep them up. We were going to put that bracket into the cement and attach it to the 2x4 uh, to help secure that post a little but I think it's fine. I think it's good enough because it has three three 2x4s attached to it and then down here there was that cement and so that was another complication. So we put a board on the other side attached to that 4x4 and then attached to the kicker board. This picket here I'm going to add that. I need to screw it in still. And that's just because there's a big gap there and it looks kind of ugly. So I'm going to put that there to block that a little bit and it'll look good. Same with why that picket is there because there's a big gap there. Um, because the neighbor's fence is all falling down uh, but it's being held up by one last 2x4 connected to this 4x4. So we didn't want to... We didn't want to move it to put our last picket there or else it would have made the rest of his fence fall. And that wouldn't have been good. Let me show you. There's his fence. mess there's his fence it's a mess he needs to fix it but yeah this is our fence and we're very proud of it total and material so there you have it guys that is our fence we did it all ourselves um the first day we did demo and put up the posts within like three hours second day would have been a little less time if i would have gotten all the supplies the day when i first um got all the supplies so total in pickets we have 90 one two three about 94 pickets total um i originally only bought 95 oh 95 96 97 98 so almost 100 pickets total. I originally bought 90, then we bought, purchased five more, and then we still didn't have enough for that last section. I don't know if you saw the two different colors in the pickets, but yeah, we had to just use some pickets we already had here. So I'm gonna tell you, all, the breakdown of all the materials was a little under $900. These are the screws we purchased for the pickets. Number number 12 and they're one and a half inch with the hex top. I really like those. It makes it easy to drill them in because it comes with the drill bit. So you just put it on your drill. We purchased a total of three boxes at first um, and there's 80 in each box. And then we had to go back to the store and get five more boxes. And we pretty much used almost all five of the boxes. So. So a total of five metal posts at like $21 each. And then 95 pickets plus the three or four more I already had. And then and then 18 two by fours and six kicker boards. That was a total of a little less than $900. And I'll put that total right here when I have the exact amount. The only thing is, when I was going through the receipts, I noticed that the first time I went to Home Depot, the lady charged me for 10 kicker boards, which those are $15.97 a piece, instead of five kicker boards and five 2x4s, and the 2x4s are $6.97, I think. So there's a little discrepancy there. I don't know what to do, how to handle it. Um, I may call Home Depot and see if they'll work with me, but, you know, there's no real proof except for that receipt in my words so might just lose money there that's it guys that's the end of our video we made this fence it was fun cost us a total of about nine hundred dollars it's super sturdy it'll last us a long time took us two days but really kind of one day in total like if i think you could get this done all in one day if you purchased all the materials before on one day and then start it then you can get it all in one day the thing is also our cement that we purchased was not quick set. If you get quick set, do your pulls early in the morning, then come back after after lunch or after a couple hours and then put up the rest, it should work for you. 
So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Questions and comments below. Bye.